Hello Taurus couples and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this video is for my Taurus couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, this is your uh, September preview. Actually, no. This is your September, the first week of September's video, okay? So keep in mind, actually before we even go into that, I want to make you all very mindful that there are imitators to this channel. Some of these are new faces and some of these people that are imitating this channel have been around on YouTube for way longer than me. Just want you to be mindful of the people that you are listening to and where you get your message from. So I'm going to say about that. So let's get right into it. It's a general reading. So the energies be interchangeable. And what I mean by that is, is these messages can go vice versa. Okay, so just apply this to your situation however it resonates. Take what does not, discard the rest. You like a reading based on your particular energy, go ahead and go to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. You can book a personal reading there. Oftentimes I offer same-day phone readings. I do offer emergency readings and just regular pre-recorded readings. I also invite you to take a look at the videos for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, sometimes those can resonate more. Right? And if you watch all of them, then you can get a very well-rounded reading. So getting right into it, Taurus. Oh my gosh, it's already happening. Sorry about that, Taurus. Yeah, so this is the situation, Taurus an extra person in your relationship it doesn't necessarily indicate cheating I don't see that yet but I do see the energy of a third person this could be someone trying to interfere with your connection with the one that you love but this is the thing I feel like maybe you feel that your relationship is on the outs right now because I'm saying that you're giving up maybe there's talk of divorce I'm seeing ending a contract contracts could be ending with work Maybe you're ending a contract at work and walking away. But yeah, I do see where you're you're on the verge of giving up on this relationship. But I feel like you're really ready and willing to give this a last ditch effort to see if there's something sell about salvageable here. Okay, the light is going to be shed on whatever deception that there was. So secrets are coming out. The winter time could be significant to your situation. I'm seeing coldness though, distance, crying, sadness, right? a sense of rejection that you might be dealing with with your partner. And this could be on either side. So those of you who are new to my channel, I'm doing a spread for you and I'm doing a spread for your cross watcher. So this would be your spread. I'm reading it as if this is happening in, you know, according to your perspective. I do see where you're on a break. You could be on a break from work between jobs or you're on a break from this relationship. I do see where maybe you're thinking about going back to school or getting um, some type of new trade. Okay, But I do sense also that there's been conflict in your connection with your loved one. Okay, Autumn season could be significant as well. But I'm seeing fears. I feel like there's a fear of change, fear of the unknown, rejection. And that's what you're kind of coming to terms with right now. But also what's coming toward you is discovering your life purpose. Okay. And I feel like that's the light that's going to be shed on whatever confusion that there was. See, there was an entanglement of words. There was some type of conflict, misunderstanding. Someone wasn't saying what they really meant. Or there's just, the two of you just didn't see eye to eye on things. And this is a soulmate connection that we're talking about. Okay, I genuinely feel like there is love here between the two of you, but let's take a look. What is it? What is the overall, and overall energy for the week, this week? First week of September, detox. This could be talking about detoxing your diet, detoxing people from your life. 
And this includes intrusive people who are, you know, in your relationship, talking, you know, about your relationship. Be careful who you're, you're telling your business to. It might even be time to detox your environment, right? Throw things out that, that no longer serve you. This could even include a person. Um, your love interest specifically is who I'm referring to. Um, mm, someone does not want to accept blame in this situation. Someone is definitely blaming the other one, pointing fingers at the other person. Okay, here we go. Taurus couple, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I do see you are walking away, ending a contract, going into a new, and going on a new path, a new beginning. Okay, new doors are open for you. Yes, absolutely. I knew it. There's gossipers, people who are watching from a distance. Could be on social media, people that are very opinionated and they have something to say about your relationship. Yep. A third party lurking around. I also feel like something is ending, but I feel like there's loyalty. The loyalty of the relationship, the integrity of the relationship has been tested. Okay, so I do feel like someone may return to try to prove their loyalty after a disconnect, after a breakdown in the connection between the two of you. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so this is for my Taurus couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's take a look at what the additional messages are. Oh, spellcasting. I got that card. The card came out for Pisces, I believe, and Virgo. Okay, that could be something that you're learning. I, I do see books, so maybe that's something that you're that interests you. A cult. The occult, okay, occult knowledge. There could also be an air sign or a water sign. I'm seeing water and I'm seeing earth, okay, that could be significant to your situation. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, this is Scorpio. But you got the moon phases above him, so Pisces as well. God of the underworld, that's Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, that could be your water sign. Okay, let me shuffle again. All right, I messed up on the way that I shuffled, so let me start again. Yeah, the moon, I keep seeing references here to moon phases. I feel like there's a new cycle that you're going into, but I also feel like there's there could be a Pisces or a Cancer around in the picture. Yep, fire, fire and earth. This could be small with fire and earth in their chart. But this is Mars. No, this is not Mars. This is Scorpio again. Yeah. Yep, and here's your air sign. So I'm seeing all elements here. So this could really be any sign that we're talking about. I feel like Okay, so you got a crow here, you got a cat here. Your ancestors, your spirit guides. Maybe you're getting in touch with your spirit animal, but I feel like there's some specific message coming to you from your spirit guides. Let's get right into the reading. What's been going on with you, Taurus? What happened? Looks like Taurus. There could be a fire sign coming toward you. Okay, but I do feel like someone was reckless, especially when it came to um, communication. I just see a breakdown in communication where there could be someone, if, if not, no, this is an exchange, okay, where, where things become so heated between the two of you, where there is no regard for the other one's feelings. You just go for the jugular and you say whatever it is that you want to say to one another. So I do see a breakdown in communication, a lack of respect when it comes to a situation. Okay, but this could be an isolated situation because of course, with there being a third party, that's not going to, you know, play out well. Someone's going to say something. 
But I feel like it was it happened beyond you know before this because I'm seeing a relationship that just wasn't that was in bad health. It wasn't in um, a good state. I'm also seeing Torians. And this is not to alarm you, but pay attention to your health. This is why maybe you're going on a detox, okay? Because there's some type of health issue that you might be dealing with. But I feel like you're thinking about this person. And little do you know, maybe you do, maybe not. But this person is waiting for you. See that your luck may change, okay? Especially when it comes to finances. Yeah, and I'm seeing that there could be an age difference between you and your love interest. So let's see what's going on here. What is really going on? Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. More air sign energy. Yeah, but see, things were really good between the two of you. You guys were really happy in the beginning. Okay. Very close emotion. You you guys bonded over life experiences, the things that you've been through. Okay? You could have known this person for a long time, maybe even 10 years. Um, but I do feel like you're getting over some type of betrayal that happened. Okay, You're trying to heal from it. And that's not easy. Okay? You're trying to put all of that aside and you're trying to see if the two of you can rebuild where things have broken down. But it looks like communication is one of the biggest issues here. Not one of, it is one of the biggest, but we can't discard the fact that there's a third party. But that's, that's part of the reason for the communication here. I do see where there's another woman in the middle of your situation. And that might be why you're having a rough patch and things are coming to an end. Someone could be cheating with someone at work. I'm seeing work situations are relevant to you. Um, new contracts perhaps, but I do see where um, you could be getting a lot of attention for your work. Taurus, a lot of people want to work with you maybe because of your reputation for good work, but I do see where people are admiring your work and your skill. I feel like there was some type of confrontation. Someone is, is it's like someone saying back off, leave me alone, that type of thing, okay? Someone needed their space. Someone said, go away, don't come back. I'm saying aloneness, okay? So maybe someone regrets having, maybe you, Taurus, regret having said that. See, you're dealing with someone who's non-committal for some of you. And this is the biggest issue, besides communication. Someone that doesn't want to compromise. Someone who'd rather argue. Someone who feels like they have some type of power by having the last word or demolishing you with, it's like, I'm sorry, this sense of wanting to demolish the other person verbally <clears throat> and someone feeling that they have power over the other one by doing that. I do see heartbreak. And right now, um, I'm seeing Taurus, you're crying over a situation, heartbroken over a situation, very disappointed at how something played out. But you've had a change of heart, and it looks like you want to work on it with this person. I feel like there was issues here with ego, okay? Um, someone wanted to dominate in the relationship. That's kind of what I'm seeing, domination. I do see petty conflict, petty battles. I do see Taurus where you want a second chance, you want to fix this with this person, but you're ignoring them. And again, I feel like that's someone's way of trying to get power over the other one by, by giving them the cold shoulder, by being very demanding. Someone is very, very slow to apologize. This is someone that doesn't want to admit their faults or show you know, take responsibility for their actions or the words that they've said. This is someone that may brush things under the rug. Like, say for instance, you get in an argument with this person. And rather than, you know, your next interaction starting with an apology, this is like an interaction that starts, you know, as if everything is normal again. 
Okay, so they just go up to you and start talking to you again. Like nothing ever happened, not acknowledging that they hurt you. That type of thing. So things are at a standstill. Things have been put on pause. But, Taurus, you're thinking about marrying this person. You feel a lot of regret about past mistakes, past issues. And guess what? It could be a water sign. This could be your Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be those signs, but I do see that someone comes toward you to try to fix it. Someone has the, the right words to say to charm you, to change your mind. They finally come forward to express how they feel and there's someone giving you a humble apology. There could even be a child in this situation. Some of you could be fighting regarding a child, but I'm saying that you went through hell and back in this relationship. Um, tormented. I, I feel like someone has a really huge ego and a um, issue with temper and alcohol. Someone has alcohol addictions. And yes, yeah, someone's really mean and nasty after they've had some alcohol. So the two of you are not speaking. Taurus, maybe you're really not doing anything to try to speed things up. You're not talking to them. You're thinking about them constantly, but you won't say anything. You won't reach out. Yeah, you're apologizing for past indiscretions. Um, um, apologizing for the lies that maybe came out. <sighs> Infidelity that came out. But this was a, a pretty dysfunctional relationship. And maybe in the beginning, you know, you saw this forever, but things just fell apart at the seams because of all of these issues that went unresolved. And so maybe you shifted your focus to your career, your home life, okay? your comfort in life, whatever these comforts are for you. But I do see uh, a period of despair, sadness. Maybe some of you are trying to grow a business and you're just seeing that things are not growing. Okay? And you're just waiting for things to happen. Maybe you feel like you put in a lot of sacrifice in this relationship hoping that things would bloom and change and take root, but nothing. You might still find yourself waiting, but feeling like the opportunity has dried up. I do see with work, you're thinking about expansion and with the relationship, you're thinking about the future, wondering what the future holds between the two of you, wondering if this person has moved on. I'm sorry, you guys are a couple, not a single, right? So maybe that's for singles, you know, wondering if this person has moved on. But for you couples, you might be wondering if this person is moving on from you. So you realize that it's time to make a decision. And now you're ready to commit. Or if you're not married to this person, I'm saying an engagement. You made a decision about who it is that you want. And you realize that this third party situation cannot go on because you're realizing also that it's compromising the integrity of this relationship. You having a third party could cause the one you love to ultimately walk away for good. I do see where someone returns to the picture. Taurus, your love interest after this conflict your soulmate, they return to the picture. They could send you a message possibly, or maybe there's someone communicating with a third party over the internet, um, on social media perhaps. Maybe you found a message. Your love interest could be sending you a message though, maybe wanting to talk about things. But I am seeing a new beginning, a new start. I see two new stars, possibly in your career and in your love life. But I feel like someone's ready to recommit to a relationship. And this isn't the first time. I feel like there's been um, a huge cycle of this. It's like this is something that's been ongoing. Okay, but here it is. The two of you open up and talk about things. Okay, you do see a future with this person. You do want a life with them, Taurus. 
like I said, you're coming to terms with things and realizing that it's time to do away with the third party. I'm saying that you will be guided through the darkness. Whatever these dark times are about, this confusion, this sadness, this discouragement, you're going to be guided through it. Yeah, some of you might be um, dealing with a lot of competition at work. Okay, Conflict on the job. Someone's being very petty. Okay, but um, I feel like you're taking a break from that scene at work. You're just kind of laying low and doing your own thing. But I do feel like the truth comes out about things. Someone's been shady. They've been grimy. Hiding things from you. But it all comes out. Locked doors can now be opened. So whatever it was that was locking you out of this relationship or locking you out of a situation or whatever it is that you feel, whatever situation that's causing you to feel stuck, it's like you now have the key to be able to release yourself or to walk through a new door. Let your intentions be known. So this is you, Taurus. If you're going toward this person, be prepared to let your intentions be made known because your love interest is going to want to know what it is that you're doing there. You know, why are you here is what I'm hearing. Like that could be their stance when they see you, Taurus. And I'm seeing that someone's being very meticulous and patient. You know, trying to make sure that they figure out what they're going to say before they say it. Okay? Finding a way to compromise. This is one of the biggest issues because I'm seeing that Taurus, this could be you not wanting to compromise with your partner, not wanting to talk about things in a respectful manner, okay? And it's leading to the downfall of this connection. It's leading to you possibly losing your partner. Let's take a look at the energy of your cross watcher. Holy Spirit, show me the energy of the Taurian cross watcher. That you could also be arguing about money, maybe supporting a child. You cross watchers walking away, leaving. Someone left. Oh, but first card out is the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like things have the potential to change. Yes, there was a close of a chapter, but there's you might be winning in the end. Okay. There could be some type of turnaround that takes place here. Your cross watcher, they don't believe that things are moving forward. They've lost confidence with this connection because they realize that there's a third party. There could, they could have found out that you're giving money to them and uh, giving money to a third party. They could have found out about a financial situation that's been going on. They're ready to sever the ties, but they want the truth. There's some type of confrontation about the truth um, regarding maybe something that they found that they discovered. They discovered that you were keeping your options open and that you might be leaving them for someone else. Or maybe you're keeping your options open with someone that you left them for in the past. And so this is when it all comes down reality check there's another woman or man in the middle of your situation you're done you love them your cross watcher they love you so much the two of you love one another but you're done okay feeling jaded feel, feeling cynical about love and about this relationship feeling like it's not worth it to really try to smooth things over or fix things because of the past where there's been some type of pattern of someone being hurt over and over and over again. And that's how your love interest is feeling. Like you just continue to hurt them. So they're stuck. Because they don't want to walk away. But they're feeling like that's the most sensible thing to do. Is to just let this go and walk away and move on with their lives. Because it feels like right now they don't see a future in this relationship. And they're ready to give up. They don't want this break, but they feel like this separation might be necessary. Okay, and they're honestly thinking about becoming single and staying away. But they can't stop thinking about this situation. They, it's like they can't stop loving you. I don't like saying the word can't, but that's kind of what it is. They might be spending a lot of time at work as well, or they found out about a, a work romance. 
they're not willing to work on it anymore. But there's mixed emotions here. They don't want to work on it, but they do want stability. They did see this relationship for the long haul. Um, they did see a marriage, possibly. Maybe even some of you could have been talking about moving in together or purchasing a home. Going to parties, planning a party, planning a celebration. But there's definitely a third party situation. So both of you have kind of shifted your focus away from the relationship and decided to focus, focus on your money, your finances. There could be a Capricorn in the picture as well, a Taurus, um, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Actually, I'm seeing all elements, but I see specifically Aries here for fire sign, but all elements. So this could really be anyone. But it looks like Taurus, you want a new start with them. They think they're remembering all the good times that they that you used that the two of you used to share, but they, they haven't forgotten the bad times either. Okay, so they're torn. They're not sure what it is that they want to do, but they're leaning more towards severing the ties. They're leaning more towards having a confrontation with you. But it's like the two of you are giving one another the cold shoulder. Taurus couples, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. An aspect of your situation in your life is in need of healing. Okay, this could be healing with your health. Okay, there could be some, like I said, some type of issue with your health. But this is definitely healing of the relationship because it's in a pretty brutal state right now. Your efforts, determination, and perseverance have paid off. Okay, so with whatever effort that you're putting into it, it looks like towards it may actually pay off for you in the end. Time to look at how you value yourself. Issues of self-love. Okay, and that could be something that you're dealing with. Someone has to love themselves more in the scenario. Taurus couples. Healing begins. So it looks like you're getting back to love and healing. Healing a relationship. It could even be healing your body. Okay, or some type of ailment. And healing the relationship of what ails it. See, so remember what I said before? Someone's watching from a distance, whether this is your employer, watching you, wanting to give you a raise of promotion, but or just watching you because of some, some type of gossip that may have happened about someone lying, cheating, or stealing when it came to work. So I do see someone's watching. Someone could be watching from a distance. It could be a third party. But I do see new contracts, ending a contract, going into a new one. Balance and harmony, where the two of you begin to work together, having the same mind, having the same goals. And it looks like temporarily your darkest fears were realized in the situation. You felt like this is someone that was, you felt like your love interest was going to walk away. Or for some of you, your darkest fear is that you found out about a third, a third party situation. Some of you may need to get some sleep. Constantly worrying about a situation doesn't change it. hearing don't cry about it do something about it your home okay I feel like your home situation could change some of you um could be like I said purchasing a home relocating moving could be something that's significant to you I feel like you're about to be very elated okay very happy I feel like your sadness is going to turn to joy Some of you could be moonlighting. And what I mean by that is like working your full-time job, but doing something that you really want to do, such as starting a business or being an entrepreneur, starting that on the side. Yeah, you definitely have some type of dream that you're loyal to. But it's time to focus on that. 
And I also feel like someone has to stop pointing fingers and playing the, the blame game because that's not really fixing things in the situation. Okay, let's go ahead and pull an advice card. Four. Taurus couples, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be released, Holy Spirit? What needs to be surrendered for the Taurus couples to have a fighting chance to make it? What is the advice, Holy Spirit, for Taurus couples? Here we go. Surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The keys to resolving a dilemma or dissolving. The keys to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup. Oh, I'm sorry. So you may approach the situation more calmly. Frustration. This is what I was talking about. Someone it's like the two of you are yelling, not having any regard for the other one's feelings feeling frustrated, not feeling heard, not feeling like your partner cares about what it is that you have to say. Like you feel like your partner is more concerned about um, one-upping you, saying something, you know, to hurt you, looking for, listening for the, you know, jogging their mind for the next response, right? Rather than listening to what you really have to say. You feel unheard. Spirit is saying it's time to surrender frustration. Regroup, walk away for a moment, but find a different approach to communicating, to trying to get through to one another. But I feel like someone is very stubborn and very set in their ways. Spirit says here in this situation to surrender to divine timing. Some, sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's focus, timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Especially those of you who are trying to build a business or do something different with your career. You have a goal in mind and you're not seeing things grow or prosper. And you're starting to, to give up and give, give away to frustration. Spirit says just trust that everything happens when it is supposed to. And everything happens for a reason. You have the wheel of fortune. So this is very positive for you. Positive change is coming in, but it's going to require you to just go with the flow for a moment. Surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. You're not limited in any way. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what you do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So Spirit's saying trust yourself to make the right decisions. Um, be careful and mindful of it is of how it is that the two of you communicate. Realize that everything happens on its own timing and you're not limited, which is why it's time for a detox, okay? At the bottom of the deck is surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear non-defensive response. So basically spirit once again is saying that communication thing, that's what's driving the two of you apart. It's driving a wedge between the two of you. The person that you love, the person that you see yourself with for the long haul. So there's a call to action. Time to change. Isn't it worth it to keep your love interest there? It looks like you absolutely love them. The two of you love one another. So there's a breakdown here. And it's repairable. So why not make the effort? So that's what I see for you, Torians. For the first week of September 2018. If this resonated, don't hesitate to hit the like button. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. I will see you next week. We'll see how this situation plays out, okay? Take care. Bye for now.